Good morning, YouTube. My name's EB, and today we'll be going over all of the requests in the Attaway Cave. Anger Outlet. For this one, we're going to go to the last room on the main path. Once you're here, you'll see a Ramparados over here. You want to throw some fluff fruit towards it to pull it closer to the wall. Once it gets close enough, it's going to see this Gengar circle. There we go. Gengar's going to pop out and Ramparados is going to headbutt. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Clefairy by Moonlight. For this one, we're going to go to the center room with the waterfall. Once we're here, we're going to take a look down and wait till we pass this Gengar circle. Just below the Gengar circle, there should be some Clefairy with a Crystal Bloom. Throw Lumina Orb at the Crystal Bloom and play some music. Clefairy should start to dance. Make sure the Crystal Bloom doesn't turn off. Once the Clefairy starts to float, take a picture. Now you can quit and submit. Crow Gunk Chorus. For this one, we're going to go to the center room with the waterfall. Once we're here, we're going to look down and there should be three Crow Gunk. We're going to play some music and throw a fluff root at the one on the middle platform. Then throw a fluff root at the one on the tallest platform. Then hit the Crow Gunk on the lowest platform. There we go. Now they should laugh and start to float. There we go. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. If you hit them in the wrong order, they'll laugh, but they won't float. Crobat touches down. For this one, we're going to go to the end of the level in the main path. Once we're here, we're going to keep an eye on this Crobat over here. He's going to fly around and come stop in this area right here. There we go. Once he's here, throw a fluff root and hit him. There we go. Now he's going to go land on this rock. There we go. Now we're going to throw a fluff root for him to eat. There we go. Once he eats it, take a picture of it. Now you can quit and submit. Drift Loon puffed up. For this one, we're going to go to the stream on the main path. Once you're here, look up and to your left. There should be a Crobat sleeping. Throw a Lumina Orb at it to wake it up. Now look to your top right and there should be another Crobat sleeping. Play some music. Gengar will pop out and wake up Crobat. Now we're going to go to the last room. Once you're here, scan and the Crobat should have opened up an alternate path. Once you're past the Gudra, you're going to look right over the cliff for a Crystal Bloom. Throw a Lumina Orb at it and then to your left. Keep an eye on the Drift Loom as they should puff up. There we go. Now you can take a picture. Quit and submit. Fur standing on end. For this one, we're going to go to the room with the Mawile on the alternate route. Once we're here, look down. Throw Illumina Orbs at the Carbink and Mawile. There we go. This will allow Deonsi to pop out. We're going to let Deonsi come over here and stop moving on the rock. Once that happens, throw Illumina Orb at it. And it will use an ability. This will calm down the Mawile over here and allow us to take the alternate path. There we go. Now we're going to go to the next room. Once we're here, we're going to look at the bottom left and there will be a Jolteon in the bush. Throw Fluff Root at it and hit it. Now we're going to throw a line of Fluff Root over here. There's a hidden Pumpkaboo. Throw another Fluff Root and hit Jolteon. And just keep throwing Fluff Root to lure it to Pumpkaboo. There we go. Once Jolteon gets by Pumpkaboo, throw a Lumina Orb at it and it'll do a shot. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Gem Royalty. For this one, we're going to go into the last room of the alternate route. Once you're here, get ready to throw Lumina Orbs. We're going to throw Lumina Orbs behind the rock that appears. There we go. We're going to start throwing now. We're looking to hit a Vivillon that's back there. There we go. If you hit the Vivillon, you're good to go. If not, you got to restart until you hit it. Now we're going to look for four carvings and hit them with the Lumina Orbs. One, two, and three. And then the fourth one is behind this rock. It's a little tricky to hit, but you can hit it after you pass it as well. Now we're going to play some music. And Deonsi is going to show up. Once Deonsi shows up, get a little bit closer. Throw a Lumina Orb. And it will start to create a gem. There we go. Now we're going to take a picture of Carbink reacting to the gem exploding with Deonsi in the photo. Now you can quit and submit. Gengar the Prankster. For this one, we're going to go to the center room with the waterfall. 
Once we're here, we're gonna look down and you'll see a sleeping Krogunk with a Gengar Circle. Throw a Lumina Orb at the Gengar Circle and then a Fluff Root to draw him out. Now we're gonna go down and throw more Fluff Root to draw Gengar towards Krogunk. Make sure Krogunk is lit up with the Lumina Orb as well. Gengar will come and stick his tongue out. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Having a Gudra time. For this one, we're going to go to the stream on the main path. Once you're here, you're going to look around this rock, and to the left, there should be a Crystal Bloom. Throw a Lumina Orb at the Crystal Bloom and watch Gudra. Gudra is going to start to get happy in a moment. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Hydragon Berserk. For this one, we're going to go to the last room on the main path. Once we're here, we're going to keep our eyes on Hydragon. Once he gets closer to us, we're going to play some music. Here we go. Play some music. You'll see the reaction. Now Hydragon's going to start to fly around and land in the water right over here. Once it's near the water, we're going to throw some fluff root at the water. Be ready to take a picture because it eats fluff root very, very quickly. There we go. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Joltik adjoins. For this one, we're going to take the alternate path to Jolteon. Once you're here, you're going to look at the bottom, throw a Lumina Orb at the Carbinks and the Mawile. This is going to allow Deontay to show up. Once it stops, we're going to throw a Lumina Orb at Deontay, and it will use an ability. This will allow us to take this alternate path. Now we're going to head to the next room. Once we're here, we're going to throw some Fluff Root between Jolteon and Joltik. Get ready to take pictures. We're going to take a picture of Joltik on top of Jolteon. Start taking pictures before she jumps on top of Jolteon. You want your focus on Joltik. There we go. Make it quit and submit. Look my way. For this one, we're going to take the alternate route to the room with the Mawile. Once you're here, you're going to look at the bottom, throw a Lumina Orb at the Carbinks and the Mawile. This is going to allow Deontay to show up. Once it stops, we're going to throw a Lumina Orb at Deontay and it will use an ability. And then you'll see the reaction from Mawile. There we go. Now we're going to throw Fluff Root at Mawile and take a picture when he eats it. There we go. Now you can quit and submit. Hello. Noibat's Refined Palette. For this one, we're going to go to the last room of the alternate path. Once we're here, we'll see some Noibats on the right. You want to throw Fluff Roots, but make sure not to hit them. If you hit them, they will fly away. Now we're going to keep an eye on it. It's going to use an ability on the Fluff Root. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Sound asleep. For this one, we're going to go into the room with the Mawile on the alternate route. Once you're here, look to your right and you should see a sleeping Sableye. If you want a better photo, give it a moment to go around the rock. You can take a better photo from here. Now you can quit and submit. Myth of the Cave. For this one, we're going to go to the room with the Mawile on the alternate path. Once we're here, we're going to look down, throw Illumina Orbs at the Carbink and the Mawile. This will allow Deontay to come out from behind the rock. We're just going to follow Deontay over. When it stops moving, we're going to throw Illumina Orb at it. There we go. Now it's going to use an ability. And we're going to take a picture at the end of the ability when it raises its hands. Now you can quit and submit. Take a good hard look. For this one, we're going to go to the center room with the waterfall. Once you're here, look to your left and there should be a Geodude on the wall. Throw a fluff root at her and she'll start climbing. Take a picture of her climbing. Now you can quit and submit. The biggest pump kaboo of all. For this one, we're going to turn immediately to our left and throw an Lumina Orb at this pump kaboo. If its eyes light up, then we hit it. The next one's going to be around this bend. We're going to hit four in total. There we go. That's two. The third one's going to be just over the cliff. Once you're here, look to your left and up, and you should see a pump kaboo on the corner. There we go. That's three. The fourth one is going to be just below the geodudes in the alternate routes. Once you're here, we're going to look at the geodudes. Wait till we're even with them. Now look down and to the left, and there's your fourth pump to be. Hit it with the Illumina Orb, and now we found them all. 
Now we're going to go to the last room on this path. Once you're here, in front of you, you should see a pump kaboo that's labeled as Super Size. Take a picture of that, now you can quit and submit. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. To see the rest of my guides, click on the playlist on the screen. And to make sure you don't miss my latest content, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.